What form do you wish to receive your magical gift, my dear? A ring or a necklace? Hmm, I pick... Choose wisely, because once you put it on, you will not be allowed to take it off. I pick necklace. Excellent choice. Now the necklace will protect you wherever you go. Are you sure that necklace will keep her powers contained? Yes, your majesty. The necklace's power is quite strong. So are her father's genetics. She must never know of her aquatic origins. Her father, King Triton, is extremely dangerous. She is to never find out about him. Do you understand? Yes, your majesty. I shall watch over the princess and make sure she never learns the truth. Are you all finished getting ready? Yes, Martha. But remind me again why I'm only allowed to take five-minute showers. I barely had enough time to wash my hair. I told you, too much water dries out your skin. Next, you shall be telling me that if I take too long in the shower, I'll turn into a mermaid. <gasps> what? Who told you that? Relax, I was only kidding. Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature. Wait, Willie? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now. Don't give me that attitude. You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> it hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm going to take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. <laughs> That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm going to need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with... Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh, no. You and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. That's him. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you going to do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it... It healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Shh, shh. I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello? Oh, please, wake up. What happened? I saw your life. Mom, what did you do to her? It's you. You used your laser vision on her? Yes, I protect you. Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> this is kid life versus adult life. Kid. Oh, I guess I must have fallen asleep watching Spongebob. Oh, well. Mom, what's for breakfast? Adult. <laughs> oh, oh, my back.
I fell asleep watching Criminal Minds again. Oh, and I slept in my makeup. I'm gonna break out tomorrow. And I forgot to buy groceries. <laughs> Kid. What time is it? Oh, it's already midnight. No wonder I'm so sleepy. Adult. <sighs> Bro, what time is it? Dang, it's only midnight? Okay, next episode. Kid. Mommy, don't get mad. I have to tell you something. Lily peed on the carpet in my room. What? You might want to go clean that up now. Adult. Why would you pee on the carpet? Do you know how much my landlord is going to charge me for that? But you're still so stinking cute. I can't be mad at you. No, I can't. No, I can't. Mommy? What, sweetie? I'm cooking. My time. It says 10 seconds. <gasps> Hang on. I'm going to transfer you time right now. Here. Wow, now I have three hours. Yes, this is why you need to stay close to me. I can't transfer you time unless I'm close by. Mommy, what happens if my time runs out? Well, sweetie, you... you die. Please, you gotta help me. I only have three... Oh. He's the third one to run out of time today. I know, it's awful. Wait, you only have 30 minutes left. Don't worry about it. It's payday today, and I'm about to head over to my boss right now. He's one minute away. Okay, be careful. Hey, boss. Um... You're here to collect your time, I know, but I'm short today. I'll, uh, I'll pay you first thing tomorrow, though. Sound good? No, 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 you don't understand. I only have 20 minutes left. Go ask your mom to transfer you time. But I don't have a car, and I live at least 20 minutes from here. Sorry, kid. I suggest you start running. <gasps> Come on, please pick up. Hello? Mom, it's me. Listen, I'm in so much trouble. My boss, he couldn't pay me today, and I'm almost out of time. What? Where are I have to be next to you to transfer time. I... Mom? Come pick you up. We're Mom, I, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I'm coming as fast as I can. Mom? No, I must be in a dead zone. Excuse me, do you have any time to spare? I'm almost out. <laughs> yeah, kid. Join the club. Please. Sorry, I've got nothing to share. I can give you 30 seconds. 30 seconds, but I- It's all I can share, honey. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Hey, kid, what's the matter? My time is almost up and no one wants to transfer me any. So I understand if you don't either. Well, I... Hey, don't cry. <laughs> you can have all my time. I've lived for long enough. Here. Oh, sweetie, I really thought that I lost you. So that man, he just gave you a thousand years and then he died? Yeah. Why would he do that? I don't know, Mom, but considering how much time this guy gave me, I mean, for all we know, he was probably alive for millions and millions of years. Yeah, maybe you're right. Mom, you know, me almost running out of time was kind of a blessing in disguise because, I mean, now we're rich. Shh, don't go around saying that too loud. You've never had that much time before, and others might want to steal it. There's people that will do that? Yes, there are people called time thieves, and they will drain you for every last bit of time that you have. Most people are only paying attention to their time, so just don't go around talking about it, okay? Yeah, okay. Please, someone help me. I only have two minutes left. Too bad, lady. Get out of my way. Oh, please. Don't intervene. Excuse me, miss. Please, can you help me? I'm sorry to ask- It's okay. I know how it feels to be in your position, so I'm gonna give you this. Oh my gosh, honey, you have no idea how much this means to me. You gave me a whole year. I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, please just uh, don't tell anyone, okay? <gasps> that girl has 999 years. Yo, can you share some time with me, too? Please, please share, share some, some time, time with, with us. us. I'm sorry, guys, I can't. But you have so much to spare, and I saw you share with someone else. I can't just be giving time out to everyone. Please, both of us only have one day left and we can't get a job. All right, fine. I will give you each one year if you promise to just leave me alone and not tell anyone how much time I have. Yeah, we promise. We won't tell a soul. Mm-hmm. All right, deal. Yes. Yes. All right, your total is one year. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Your total is two years. Is that okay? You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, here's your dresses. Do you want a bag? <sighs> no, it's fine. Thank you. Okay, I think I bought enough stuff today. I should probably just go home. It must be really nice having all that time on your hands, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Peekaboo, let's see what you got here. Hey! It's not fair for you to have all this time. <laughs> no! I think you need to share some with me. Ugh. Let go! Don't fight it. This will be over quickly. <laughs> Bad luck for you running into a time thief. Almost done.
I'm gonna live for this. Get away from her! Who do you think you are, huh? Trying to steal time from women? <sighs> hey, get back here! How much time did he take from you? A lot, and now I only have one more day to live, but you know, it's fine. I'll help you get more time. Oh no, you've already done enough with saving my life. I, I just couldn't ask you for any time, but thank you. Catch. What is this? That's what time thieves use to steal time. You're you're kidding me, right? Nope, that sucker dropped it when he was running away from me. And now we're gonna go steal your time back. I I don't know if we should- Come on, your clock is ticking. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Jake, stop. I only have 30 seconds left. We've been looking for him all day. We're not gonna find him. That guy's taking time from me, too. I'm not gonna- There he is! Oh, I got him. Put it on his wrist. Stop it. Let me go. No, don't do this. It's working. Wait, I found out that there's little chips in all of our ears, and if you pull them out, you could stop your time and survive. He's probably lying. No, I'm not. I was just about to try- We'll try it first. I actually see something. <sighs> Hang on, if it's hurting you too much, I told you I can go first. No, it's okay. Just keep going. <sighs> I got it. Look. I don't want to look. My time, it's at zero, zero. It stopped, but I'm fine. He was telling the truth. We have to go on the news and tell everyone. Everyone is removing the chips in their ears after finding out from a young girl that it was what was causing electrocution after our time runs out. We did it. We saved the world. Ba -ba 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 super face. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro. You're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand, and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? Alright, that was perfect. 
If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. And well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Let go! Get in my- You look like the girl from Zapota. No, you look like the girl from Zapota. <laughs> Sweetheart, your battery's at 10%. Time to charge. Okay, Mom. Five more minutes. Okay. Patty cake, patty, patty cake. cake. <gasps> You're almost at 5%. I'll be fine. Just one more minute. Okay. You should really go charge now. <gasps> Lacey? Lacey? Mrs. Stevens, she's not waking up. No, her battery. Honey, please, please, please wake up. She's charging. Mommy? Oh, she's alive. You almost died on me. I'll never let this happen again. Mom, I'm going to school. Do you have your... Don't worry, I have my charger. Actually, honey, you won't need that today. Because I made you this. A bracelet? Put it on. It's actually a portable charger. It's a new invention. You won't have to charge ever again. Whoa, thanks, Mom. Of course. Don't get it wet, okay, honey? Okay. How does she have so much energy? It's not fair. It's because of that new bracelet she got. I have an idea. Hey, Lacey, you thirsty? <laughs> Whoa, uh, you okay? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, can I please use your... Oh, what are you doing, Charger? You took my battery life. How did you do that? Four million dollars or a stick? Oh, look at me. I'm gonna go choose the stick. Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Kit. Stick selected. Whoa, that's a cool stick. You're welcome. That's it. Come here. Mom! Leah, why are you chasing her? Because she made me pick a freaking stick over four million dollars. Leah, don't be so hard on her. She's only eight. Did you hear what I just said? You literally always side with her. I wish you were my age so you could understand how I feel. Wish granted. Hey, girls. Want to go to a party tonight? Mommy? Mom? Hey, who are you calling a mom? <laughs> Did I just turn her into a teenager? I think this stick is actually a magic wand. Yeah, you think? Turn her back. Okay, okay. I wish my mom was back. Ugh. Who are you? I am your mother, and I have been looking for you too. You are my daughters. She's trying to trick us. I wish for my real mom to come back. Wish already granted. What? This thing must be broken. Say mom's name. Good idea. I wish for Laura Jones to reappear and for this creepy woman to disappear. No, wait! Girls? Mom! What happened? Leah made you disappear, and a mean lady came. Yeah, it turns out this stick is actually a magic wand, so... Sorry. Girls, that mean lady was actually your mom. What? what? Yes, I'm actually your big sister, and I took you guys away from her when you were little and raised you both. No, I... I would have remembered that. No, you wouldn't, because I also got a wand for my birthday, and... I erased your memories of her. You've been lying to us. It was for your protection. She was horrible. No, I don't trust you. I wish for a real mom, too. Stop! I wish Leah was frozen. <gasps> unfreeze her! I just need to take her wand. I wish for her to unfreeze. Whoa, what the... I'm sorry, Leah. This is for your own good. I wish for her to forget what just happened. No! 
Mom, what happened? Nothing. You just need to rest. No, she's lying. She made you forget. I wish for Kit to fall asleep. <sighs> Why would you do that? I... Is that my wand? No, Leah. <sighs> Why can't I remember anything? Because you, um... I wish to remember everything I forgot. No! <laughs> You're my big sister? Oh my gosh, Kit. I wish for Kit to wake up. Whoa, that was really trippy. I'm taking your wand. No! Ugh! Kit, give it back! I wish for you to tell us the truth. Was our mom really evil? Yeah, she was. But I shouldn't have erased your memories. I'm sorry. We, we forgive, forgive you. you. Here's your wand back. But I accidentally broke it a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies. What? My wand! Right, girls, on the count of three, reveal your symbols to me. One, two, three. I got a heart. I got a diamond. I got a star. What did you say, Denise? I said I got a star. <gasps> what? Mom! Isn't that symbol the same one that- Cover that up. What? But why would I need to- Don't question me. Just do it. Aunt Cora, I covered it up, see? Good. Now if anyone is to ask you about your symbol, you are to simply say you didn't get one. Do you understand? I feel so bad you didn't get a symbol. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Well, I found out Jake and I both have a circle. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go show him. Yeah, go ahead. Movie star Caleb Woods reveals his symbol. Take a look. Caleb, show us your symbol. Guys, come on. I got somewhere to be. Please. Oh, come on. All right. It's a star, okay? Is that the mail? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Give it to me. This is it. I want to open it. No, I got it first. Girls, please at least try to act civilized. <gasps> we won. Oh my gosh, we did. Let me see that. We are pleased to inform you that your whole family has been invited to a once-in-a-lifetime movie premiere. Do you know what this means? You two are going to have a chance to hook up with a big-time movie star. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I called dibs on Caleb Woods. Wait, he's going to be there? Of course he's going to be there. He's the star of the movie, you idiot. We have no time to waste. We have to get you two some outfits. What about me? It said everyone in the family was invited. Yes, and last time I checked, you were adopted. But you guys chose to adopt me. Right. Well, that was because my sister's will had clearly stated that if anything were to happen to her, I were to adopt you. Well, you guys can't just flirt with celebrities. You have to go with the person that has your same... I told you to cover that up. I did, but I took a shower this morning and I guess the makeup was... Quiet. I don't care about your excuses. Where's our dresses? They're right here. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Wait a minute, did you guys change your symbols? You changed yours to a star? That's my symbol. Yeah, so what? So what? It's against the rules. I'm gonna turn you guys in. Mom! Put that phone down, Denise. The star is my soulmate symbol. It belongs to... Caleb Woods. I know. That's why you wanted me to cover it up. Let me ask you something, Denise. Do you really think that he would want you? I mean, look at you. He's a big-time movie star, and you're a high school dropout. You made me drop out of school because you said I needed to focus more on the chores. Yes, but I pay you for everything that you do. But if you disobey me... Ow. Mark my words, you'll end up in the streets. Because trust me, no one is going to hire you. Girls, the limo's here. Hey, guess who's back from her beauty pageant contest? Maya, how did you get in here? The back door is open. I figured I'd surprise you. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine, really. So you do have a symbol! What? No, I... Girl, listen. I don't know what your crazy aunt of yours did to you while I was away, but you need to tell me everything. Maya... Come on, Denise. I want to help you. Oh, no, she didn't. You deserve to go to that premiere and meet Caleb. It's too late now anyways. Not necessarily. I have an idea. Okay, Denise, come on out. Oh, my God. I love it. Are you sure it's okay that I borrow all of this? Of course. Oh, and here's your fake VIP badge that I made on Photoshop. I just really hope my aunt and cousins don't recognize me. Hi, excuse me, Caleb? You want my autograph? No, actually, I... I wanted to show you this. You got a star, too. Mr. Woods, is she bothering you? No, not at all. Here, uh, let's go somewhere more private. 
Glad you came up to me. I haven't talked to a girl like you in a long time. What about all your fans? Don't get me wrong, I love my fans, but they don't really know me. And my family doesn't even care to know me. Yeah, do you ever feel like your family just uses you so they can get what they want? Even if that means they hurt you in the process? Yep, like nothing I do is ever- Good enough for them? Yeah, exactly. Wait, you know, I realize I never got your name. Oh, um, my name? It's, um, Caleb, over here! Who's this? They're taking photos of us? Yeah, sorry. Guys, come on, can we get some space? I have to go. Wait! Denise, where are you? There you are! I am so upset with you, Denise! How dare you let your cousin go out with such a big stain on her dress? You were supposed to have gotten it dry cleaned! Oh, I guess it must have, um, slipped my mind. Well, you are very lucky that I am exhausted right now. We'll talk about this more in the morning. Come along, girls. We need our beauty sleep. Caleb Woods was spotted talking to a mystery girl last night. The paparazzi got these photos of her, but no one is exactly sure who she is. You wanted to talk to me? Yes, I was wondering if you wanted to explain to me why I found this under your bed. You... you came into my room? I own this house, now answer my question! Were you the one talking to Caleb? Yes, it was me. But you know what? I had every right to go see him. He is my soulmate. So if you want to kick me out for doing that, go right ahead, because I am tired of all of you guys treating me with such disrespect. She's gonna be in so much trouble. Girls, you can stop spying on us. Denise is right. We need to treat her with more... respect. Here you go, Denise. Now relax and watch whatever you want. I'll be back, dear. I'm going to get you something to drink. Here you are, Denise. I got you your favorite. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Here, let me see it. See? I'm just trying to be a bit nicer to you. All right, well, thanks. Please, if you're watching this, DM me a picture of yourself and your mark. Caleb is looking for you? Yeah, I'm gonna message him. But Denise, you're a fake. What happened to being nice? I'm just being honest, dear. Without that wig and all that makeup, you don't look so good. Do you really want to reveal yourself? Yes, because my mom always taught me to be my... Poor Denise, you really did take after my sister. So gullible and innocent. Always outshining my daughters, though. <laughs> perfect little face. Perfect soulmate. Well, not anymore. Mom, what did you do to her? Oh, relax. She's fine. She's just going to be asleep for a little while. Now, put this on. What? Me? Yes, you. You look the most like Denise. We'll make Caleb think you're her. Now, while Chloe gets ready, I'll take a picture of your mark. Perfect. My soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um... I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye-bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough. I'll try it on. All right, you know what? This dress is pretty cute. I like it. Okay, okay, we have to go to the party now. Hey, Brie, nice dress. Thanks. <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I... <coughs> I better go. Oh. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that?
It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes, I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's going to be okay. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. Great excuse. I'm serious. You could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am going to get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. Please tell me that's you at my door. It's midnight, so if it's not you, then... Are you Jason's soulmate? Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. Yeah, it must be. Get her. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Nah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand, because I... Ah, uh, it got me right in the eye. Oh. Ooh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Oh. Ugh. You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's going to do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. <laughs> you know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now... There's no one left to save you. You know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand. What do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were going to use you as bait to get to him. But we're going to make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be... Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh, keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine. Remember, I have a plan. He's still alive, so I'm moving you to a different little- oh, 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 not today. Oh. Hey, Jason, surrender now or I'll kill her. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand, huh? Hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy? <laughs> well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's, it's worth a, a shot. Day. Sweet. It's a new life. Whoa, it totally worked. And now it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just going to have to teach me. Why, you little. <laughs> Who do you think you're going to get? I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh, think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. <laughs> there you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh, nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh yeah, things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Ho, ho, there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know. 
who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Oh no, okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get canceled. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Holly! Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. The hole is closing up. All right, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Want to see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... you are too. Jared, what are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because... I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho, <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Tunny, his family cannot be trusted, and you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Hey, I can help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Well, I can actually use your help. Awesome, because I already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, I totally ship you guys. Aw, thanks. Well, what's your plan? Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which is already done. But they never take afternoon naps. Uh, let's just say I gave them some special milk. Winky! It was the only way. Now, follow me. This is the house. Now, I'll distract Jack while you go look for Jared. Okay. Why is it so hot in here? Holly, is that you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, the heat. It makes me weak. Come on, we gotta get you outside. It's no use. I can't get up. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you here. Okay, Jared, I hope you've learned your... What do you think you're doing? Holly, run! And where do you think you're going? You can't escape from me. Jack, please. I told you to stay away from my son. Now you're going to pay the price. Just a few more minutes and you'll be frozen forever. Hey, get away from her. Don't worry, I'm going to stop him. Your powers are no match for mine. We'll see about that. <laughs> And you said I was no good at using my powers. You're too late, Jared. Holly! Oh, my poor baby. Jared, we can't thank you enough for saving her. And we're pleased to announce you both are off the naughty list. Really? Yes, and you have our blessing to be together. Thank you. I promise. I will always look after her. Are you getting kind of hot now? Yeah, a little. I think I can help with that. I can get adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm gonna go ask some of the other kids. Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you? Hey kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo, he's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie. Let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry. I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. 
But why? Hey boss, he's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school. I want you to, uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hun. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You'll use this. A pen? It has a video camera in it. And you're gonna be recording him all the time. Got it? No, I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm gonna betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm gonna be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you wanna know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that! I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow! Oh, oh, what the- Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna tell him anything. Ow. Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No. Hey, kid. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's gonna be all right. Let's go this way. No. We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are gonna pay. You should know better. You think I'd come here alone? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop it! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the Mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your... Yes. I promise, I'm always going to protect you. Make a wish. Hey, happy birthday. What's your soulmate's name so daddy can take care of him? Dad. I'm kidding, come on. His name hasn't even shown up yet. Okay, but when it shows up, you tell me who it is. Understand? No, please, I'm telling you, I, I don't know nothing. Oh. Maria, put your headphones on. Hey, Maria. Yeah? I finally did it, sweetheart. I got his location. And by his, do you mean the man that killed? Your mother. Yeah. Turns out he's got a secret son. You're kidding. Nah, he's a CEO of a company. Let me guess. You want me to use him to get to his father? Yep. I already got a plan. What's his name? Antonio. Antonio Stefano. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Just thought I saw a bug. Tell me what you need me to do. And pretend you got a big business deal for him. Okay, but what if he's not interested? Then you make him interested. For mom, I'll do whatever it takes. He's ready for you. Mr. Stefano, Miss Lane is here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stefano. Please, call me Antonio. Take a seat. 
I hear you have a business proposal for me. Actually, I do. May I show it to you? Go right ahead. And that's how the steel will make us millions. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not looking to make any deals right now. Then why did you have me explain it? I like the sound of your voice. Now, why don't you do me a favor, doll, and tell me why you're really here? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Miss Lane, if that's even your real last name. What are you implying? Let's just say I have a lot of enemies. And you think that one of them sent me to what? Kill you? Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure. Your little business deal was bullshit. What makes you say that? Some of the math was off. By a lot. Look, I don't know who you think I... Mr. Stefano, your father's on the phone? <sighs> Stay here. We are not done. Excuse me. Dad, did you get all that? Yeah, that son of a gun's smarter than I thought. Yeah, maybe double check your math next time. Look, you gotta get out of there. I can't, he... He's coming back. Now where were we? You were just about to let me go home. Not gonna happen, Miss Lane. Not until you tell me what's really going on here. Fine. First off, don't call me Miss Lane anymore. My name's Maria. And secondly, this conversation hasn't been private. Maria, what the hell are you doing? But now it is. Who was listening in? If you want to know that, I suggest you sit down and listen very carefully. So we're soulmates. And your father doesn't want us to be together? Yes, but I'm done listening to him. I... I want to be with you. Maria, what the hell was that about, huh? Relax, he's got a thing for me. And I put a tracker on him. I gotta say I'm impressed. We're finally gonna get justice for your mother. I see his car. He's here. Copy that. Hey, you came. Of course. <laughs> I'm ready to run away with you. Me too. I say we leave and never come back here again. Cheers. To new beginnings. So, whose car are we gonna take? <laughs> Let's, Let's take, take mine. mine. No thanks. Actually, I wasn't really asking, sweetheart. Neither was I, sweetheart. Let me guess, you found the tracker. Did you think I wouldn't? Obviously I did, which is why I came prepared. Want to know why I chose this restaurant for us to meet at? Why? Because my father knows all the waiters, including one that served you your drink. You little... Bring the van. He's not going anywhere. Let me handle this. No, Dad, I want to stay. Maria, he's gonna wake up any minute, and... Why do you keep looking at him like that? You didn't tell me your soulmate's name. Um, I... Sounds like someone's about to get grounded. Your father doesn't know, does he? Doesn't know what? Your daughter and I are soulmates. Are you kidding me? Dad, I can explain. Nah, Maria. He's dead. No, he's not responsible for what happened to Mom. His father is. What are you two talking about? Your dad killed my mom. That's why I came after you. My father wouldn't go that far. Guess you don't know him too well. He's right. Dominic? Dad? How did you find him? I always keep an eye on my son. Now tell me, Antonio, which one of them should I take out first? Last time I checked, you were outnumbered. Oh, but am I? Oh, no! Maria, you know what you have to do. You're next. Dad, what are you doing? I want them to stay away from me. I remember. Stop! She's my soulmate! What? Oh. Dad! Relax. I didn't shoot to kill. How's your father holding up? He's doing pretty good for someone who just got shot in the shoulder. How about yours? He's pissed, but he's alive. Maria, listen. I want you to know I had no idea about your mom, and I'm turning my father in. You are? Yes. Look, I'm sure your dad's no saint either, but what my father did, no little girl should have to witness that. Thank you, Antonio. That, that means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me that you didn't kill him when you had the chance. Where are you going? Leaving. I figure you don't want to be with me. Antonio, wait. I do want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? More than anything. Then what do you say we put our parents' past behind us and start fresh? I'd like that. My best friend controls my bank account or my hand? Yeah, I don't need her making me go broke. She's out of town, so I wonder how this is gonna work. Incoming call. Oh, it's her. Hey. Girl, I can see and hear everything you do. You can? 
Yeah, this is so weird. Don't worry, I won't make you do anything bad. You may now begin your test. What are you doing? I swear, I'm not trying to do this. Maya, why would you do something like that? Revenge? For what? You need to see this. What is this? A picture of you and Maya's boyfriend, and it looks like you're holding hands. What? Yeah, it's been sent out to the whole school. Maya, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I can't believe her. I'm gonna make her week a living hell. Maya, yeah, listen, I wasn't cheating with your boyfriend. I was just... Mm. I don't want to hear her excuses. I saw the photo. They were clearly holding hands. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. No, my best friend is controlling my hand today and she's super mad at me. Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, can't say I disagree. Maya, if you would just let me explain- Excuse me, you need to pay attention. I take Jim very seriously. Of course, uh, so do I, coach. Are you mocking me, Miss Missouri? No, sir. <sighs> oh, you think you're funny, huh? Go run five laps. No, but I- Uh-uh-uh, don't want to hear it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, man. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Here, you can have my water. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for the water. No problem. <gasps> what the? That's what you get for being a bad friend. Uh, all week you've been causing me trouble, and any time I try and explain what happened with your boyfriend, you... Mm. You do that. I don't care what you have to say anymore. I can't trust you. Oh, and I see her crush is coming near. Oh no, Nate, Maya, please, I'm begging you, don't- Hey, uh, how are you doing? Good. Great, actually. Sweet. Well, you know, prom's coming up, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you- <gasps> Nate? She just knocked out Nate. No, no, I would never. My friend is controlling my hand. Principal's office now. Listen, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Great, they put handcuffs on her. Now I can control her hand. What do you mean she's your sign language instructor? Wait, so that's why she was touching your hand? Why didn't you call me sooner? She's about to get arrested! Take her downtown. No, please wait. Stop. I was controlling her officers. She's innocent. Five mil or a lamp? Well, I'm like really afraid of the dark, so I gotta have a lamp. <sighs> this isn't a lamp. It doesn't even have like a light bulb. Did you get your birthday gift yet? Yeah, I picked a lamp, but I got scammed. It doesn't even light up or anything. That's a genie lamp. What? Have you tried rubbing it? Um, no, that's weird. You dumb dumb, you gotta rub it to activate your wishes. Haven't you seen Aladdin? Oh my god, wait, I remember that movie. You're right. So, do I just rub it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's happening. Open the lamp. A three! Congrats! You got three wishes. Are you a genie? No, I'm your mama. Come on, of course I'm a genie. <sighs> okay, no need for the attitude. So, can we, like, wish for anything? Nope, there are rules. And here they are. <sighs> no wishing for money? You already had a chance to get five mil. I... Okay, that's fair. I wish for... Stop! You gotta think about it. All right, all right. Okay, I got it. I wish... Wait. Shh. I wish... You're gonna regret this. Oh my gosh. I wish you would just be quiet. Your wish is my command. I didn't mean that. Mm. No, listen. That doesn't count. Come on. Turn her back. Sorry. I can't take back any wishes. Hmm? Jeannie, come on. Just give her her voice back. The only thing you can do is wish for it back. But if I do that, I'm only gonna have one wish left. Look who can do math. Yes. Listen, you don't really need your voice, right? Mm. Ow! Okay. Guess you do. Mm -hmm. I can't understand you. Mm. I can't understand you. If only there was some way that she could communicate with me. Now is that the time for texts? This is serious. Mm. I am so bad at making decisions. I wish that I was smarter. Mm. Alright, you got it, kid. I know what to do. I've decided. I wish for her voice to come back, but this time... My voice is super powerful now? People are literally going to pay to hear you sing, and then we can make lots of money. Just try out your voice right now, and, um, see what happens.
Okay. Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go! Relax. No, dude, let go! Aw, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me. I do. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. I need to talk to you. Um, sorry, Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel, this is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying, it's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's, what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it, I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? <laughs> no, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. <laughs> Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way. Hurry. Jace. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well. Whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think- I think this is good, thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. <sighs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine. I don't need to go to juvie. Jace, help me out. Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart. That is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Want to ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. 
Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, oh, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You never know this any American Girl stuff. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranate. No pomegranate. No! No, 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 no! No pomegranate! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <coughs> see? You see? <coughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Happy birthday. We got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what, what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. It's just a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I get you, baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. 
Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really, I could just eat you. Oh no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils, and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Four million dollars or a stick? Oh, look at me, I'm gonna go choose the stick. Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Kit, stick selected. Whoa, that's a cool stick. You're welcome. That's it. Come here. Mom! Leah, why are you chasing her? Because she made me pick a freaking stick over four million dollars. Leah, don't be so hard on her. She's only eight. Did you hear what I just said? You literally always side with her. I wish you were my age so you could understand how I feel. Wish granted. Hey, girls. Want to go to a party tonight? Mommy? Mom? Hey, who are you calling a mom? <laughs> Did I just turn her into a teenager? I think this stick is actually a magic wand. Yeah, you think? Turn her back. Okay, okay. I wish my mom was back. Ugh. Who are you? I am your mother, and I have been looking for you too. You are my daughters. She's trying to trick us. I wish for my real mom to come back. Wish already granted. What? This thing must be broken. Say mom's name. Good idea. I wish for Laura Jones to reappear and for this creepy woman to disappear. No, wait! Girls? Mom! What happened? Leah made you disappear, and a mean lady came. Yeah, it turns out this stick is actually a magic wand, so... Sorry. Girls, that mean lady was actually your mom. What? what? Yes, I'm actually your big sister, and I took you guys away from her when you were little and raised you both. No, I... I would have remembered that. No, you wouldn't, because I also got a wand for my birthday, and... I erased your memories of her. You've been lying to us. It was for your protection. She was horrible. No, I don't trust you. I wish for a real mom, too. Stop! I wish Leah was frozen. Unfreeze her! I just need to take her wand. I wish for her to unfreeze. Whoa, what the... I'm sorry, Leah. This is for your own good. I wish for her to forget what just happened. No! Mom, what happened? Nothing. You just need to rest. No, she's lying. She made you forget. I wish for Kit to fall asleep. <sighs> Why would you do that? I... Is that my wand? No, Leah! Ugh. Why can't I remember anything? Because you, um... I wish to remember everything I forgot. No! <laughs> You're my big sister? Oh my gosh, Kit. I wish for Kit to wake up. Whoa, that was really trippy. I'm taking your wand. No! Ugh! Kit, give it back! I wish for you to tell us the truth. Was our mom really evil? Yeah, she was. But I shouldn't have erased your memories. I'm sorry. We, we forgive, forgive you. you. Here's your wand back. But I accidentally broke it a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies. My wand! Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid because family members, they are worth a lot more than money, right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. What? You're sweating. No. 
You okay? Um, no, I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit, I knew it, the makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No, you're a hider. I can explain. You little liar, I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention, the game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here, this is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I going to do? Shh, listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because. Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not going to leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go. <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a Hyder? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy. And after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. <gasps> you can't tell anyone about your curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand. Don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bits. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Uh. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I... I haven't. I think my soulmate's the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So, what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally, just say it. My gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? 
<laughs> You're joking. <laughs> hmm. Pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on, you're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate, and he can break my curse. What? How do you know the prince is your soulmate? Tell us. We know you can't resist. Someone told me to go find my soulmate, and after they said that, I went straight to the prince and held his hand. And what exactly did he say to you? He told me he wanted to see me again, but then his guards came, and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant, and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her, you are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No. Alina, get the door. Alina. Your Highness. I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your me. Highness! Hi! Ignore her. She's our maid. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is. Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your Highness... You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. So you need help breaking your curse? What? Alina, listen to me. You need me to break your curse. Right, yes, my curse. You still haven't told me what it is. But it doesn't matter, because I'm almost positive I'm your soulmate. So, I should just... You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. Okay, well, that... that hurt. I'm so sorry. You don't want me to kiss you? No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to... Look, it's alright. Maybe we just aren't soulmates after all. Princess, stop! Look above your head. Singing? Why would she ban singing? Honestly, princess, I'm pretty sure the queen is jealous of you. But why would stepmother be jealous of me? Don't you remember her wedding? You may now kiss the bride. Yay! Now I get to have a new mommy. <laughs> That's right, sweetheart. Your daughter is so cute. Here, honey, take a rose. Thank you. It's my wedding day, not hers. And now that I'm queen, I have the power to do this. Give that to me. Me. Wait, do you hear that? Me. Yeah, it sounds like someone's singing. It's the new maid, Linda. Linda, stop! She can't hear you. She has headphones on. Listen, Linda, look at me. Hello? We have to run over to her before she... <gasps> no. <sighs> She's gone too far this time. I have to speak to Father about this. Lydia, there you are. I was looking for you. Where's Father? There's something I have to tell you. But first... Why did you ban crying? As a princess, you can't be seen getting hysterical, and I'm afraid to inform you your father is ill. What? Yes, dear, I'm not sure if he's going to make it. Let me see him. Oh, father, how did this happen? <clears throat> I'm not sure, but your mother has gone too far with these new rules. Yes, and I'm afraid she's been abusing her power. Father, we have to stop her. Listen to me. You have to right my wrongs. It is up to you. Don't say that. You are the only hope to save the kingdom. Uh... Father? Your boyfriend, Prince William, is here to see you? Yes. Send him in, please. Of course, Princess. Lydia, I heard the news. Here, this is for you, love. My favorite flower. This means a lot to me, William. Thank you. It's the least I can do. I can't believe she's not letting anyone cry about the loss of your father. Lydia, the Queen is out to get you. She must be stopped. But how? Shh, I might know a way, but it involves us getting... Good afternoon, princess. I have prepared your favorite l Oh my, what a mess. And he was my favorite chef, too. What a pity. I'm allowed to speak because I'm the queen, and I make the rules, but I don't have to follow them. What you are doing is evil. Well, I don't care what you think, Prince William. Now, if you'll excuse us, I need to speak to Lydia alone. 
Lydia, I was just informed that your father made a law that once you get married, you will become queen. And you see, I can't have that happening. And since you and the prince are getting pretty serious... No! Now he must be killed. No, stepmother, please. He's all I have left. Usually I only give people a few seconds to obey the rules, but since he's royalty, I'll give you one minute to break up with him. Your time starts now. Follow her. Yes, your majesty. William, William, we have to break up. She banned boyfriends, not fiancés. Lydia, will you marry me? Queen says you have ten seconds left. Lydia, will you marry me? Yes. All right, guess you're safe until I tell the queen, and then she's going to ban marriage. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that hurt. Oh, you're all right, love. Let me see your hand. I can't believe you did that. He was going to tell the queen, and I just panicked. It's okay. I can't risk her banning marriage. My father made it a law before he passed that once I get married, I will become queen, and I can finally put an end to all of her madness. Then we shall marry tonight, in secret. And what about the guard? I'll take care of him, and I'll arrange everything for the wedding. Meet me at the chapel at 7 p.m. Go, and don't let her see the ring. Lydia, where's the guard that was with you today? I'm not sure, stepmother. Hold it. You told me you broke up with your boyfriend. So now, if I find out that you're lying to me, you'll be gone. We are gathered here to look absolutely breathtaking. Thank you. But we have a slight problem. The guard escaped. What? Yes, and we probably only have a few minutes before he alerts the queen. Oh, God. Today is a day of celebration. Do you think of... we could maybe skip to the end? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, princess. I now pronounce you husband and... Well, what do we have here? Finish, Finish your, your sentence. sentence. And wife, you are now officially married. Yes, Lydia, we did it. Marriage is banned. Eliminate them. I'll start with the princess first. No! Stop right there in the name of the law. The princess is now the queen. It says so here in this document. That's right. And now she can pick what is banned. I think I would like to ban people with wicked hearts. I think we can all agree that the ex-queen is in violation. What? No! That, that That's preposterous. I'm sorry, your majesty. Wait. I'm changing the rules. Violators will not be eliminated, but rather thrown in the dungeon. Why, you little... Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba super face. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did, but what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill. Chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes. I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. 
How do you feel? I feel different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we got to get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away have... from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my Babe, I got- Don't you dare use any more of those words. Understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed? Now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because. After I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> Sir, step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. It's Daniel, will you be my valentine? 
Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> princess Elizabeth. Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. <laughs> this is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you? You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about- Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name, William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promised to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother. Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth. You're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding. That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you, you die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. 
Just be happy that wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William. Elizabeth. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aw. I win. Since you won, I, I picked these flowers for you. Prince Daniel, do you see that above your head too? Uh-huh. You have to get people to kiss you. Oh. How about I kiss you? But if we're soulmates, your score will... It will go up high. Okay. Yes. <gasps> Stop! You're forbidden to see Prince Daniel again. No. Go to your room. Stepmother, please let me go help the village people. I won't talk to any boys, and I promise I'll only be gone for a few hours. No. What if some stranger tries to kiss you and your score goes up? Why don't you want my kiss score to go up? Yours is already at 50. They say if you kiss your soulmate, your score goes up really high. Is that why yours is so high? No. Soulmates are a lie. I just have a way with men. But you're staying in your room. I told the village people that I was going to help them out today, and I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you, princess. We appreciate your help. Oh, it was my pleasure, really. Look, her score is going up. Hey, Princess Sydney? It's me, Prince I, Daniel. I have to go. Wait, I haven't seen you in forever. I'm forbidden to talk to you, remember? Oh, come on. You know you still owe me- Princess, there you are. How did your score go up? Who kissed you? It was two women from the village. They were both so grateful for my help that they each kissed one of my hands. We also caught her talking to Prince Daniel. I'm so sorry. He started talking to me and Silence. You were forbidden to see him. We'll discuss your punishment later. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes, and don't come back until the job is done. So you're allowing me to go out in the village today? Are you sure you're not still mad? All is forgiven. Thank you. My best god will be with you for protection. Come along, princess. <laughs> Oh, sweetheart, don't cry. I picked this flower earlier. Would you like to have it? Yes, please. You don't know how much that means to her. Allow me to repay you for your kindness. Oh, you really don't. <coughs> Everyone, let's all kiss the princess's hand so we can raise her score. Yeah! Good job, everyone. She's almost about to beat the evil queen's score. Today was an eventful day, huh? I just hope that stepmother doesn't mind that my kiss score is almost as high as hers. After tonight, I don't think she'll mind. Let's get you back home. We're almost there. No, stop. You keep saying that, and I don't remember the way to the castle being this way. <sighs> well, princess, that's because it's not. No. I'm sorry, princess. Why are you doing this? The queen believes you are a threat to her kiss score. She ordered me to get rid of you. I don't want to kill you, but if I don't, she'll kill me. Close your eyes. Oh. Stay back. Daniel... Run! Run and don't come back! Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Please help me, the queen. She was trying to kill- Whoa, whoa, sweetheart. It's all right. Come on, let's get you inside. Thank you for letting me stay here. Your dog is so sweet. Of course, it's our pleasure, dear. Good night, sweetheart. Come here. Princess, I'm taking the dog out for a walk. Don't answer the door to anyone. Okay. I know this song. That's the song that Mother used to sing to me. Mom? Oh, Sydney. Yes, it's me. No, that's impossible. You died when I was four. The ones we love are never gone. I've come to give you a kiss. Only need one more kiss to beat the evil queen's score. How do you know that? Because, my daughter, I'm magic. That's how I came back to life. Now let me give you a kiss. I... I don't know if I believe you. How about I give you a little demonstration? You see, dear? Magic. It's really me, your mom. I've missed you so much. Once I give you this magical kiss, we'll be together forever. <laughs> mom, I don't feel very good. Well, that's because you've been tricked. <laughs> Stepmother? Hello, Sydney. I've just given you the kiss of death. You'll be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, princess, I found a prince who was looking for you. No, Sydney. 
The Queen must have done this to her. Daniel, I... I love... No, hey, stay with me. Sydney. Sydney! No, please. Please, Sydney, wake up. I'm so sorry, dear. This wasn't supposed to happen. Remember, you... You still owe me that kiss. Wait, true love's kiss? She's waking up. Look at her score. You two must be soulmates. I knew it. The evil queen has gone too far this time. You have to take back your kingdom. You're right. She's finally... Not so fast. What? Surprise. You're probably wishing you would have tried to kill me too now. Why, you, Sydney, get away from him. You don't make the rules anymore, stepmother. I do. And you're hereby dethroned. (laughs) You wouldn't dare hurt me with that sword. Try me and see what happens. (gasps) Guards? No, you fools, get off of me. Finally, we have a good queen. Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? (laughs) Oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. When I come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay. We dare you to kiss Peter. Whoa! <laughs> it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. <gasps> She's so dumb. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. (laughs) Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! Hey. Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're going to go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What? Yo, just one more kiss. She did it. I made it to 80%. Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, I <laughs> know. I. Somebody's got a crush. Oh. Oh. Jason, shut up. Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your bag. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular, and if you come for her title, girl, she's gonna come for you. Sydney, hey. (laughs) Oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. No way. You're the most popular girl in school now. (laughs) Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you... And the winner for prom queen goes to... Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney! First she becomes more popular than me, and now she's prom queen? It's time for plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah, uh uh-huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile, Congrats, Sydney. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. 
Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I I lied, okay? What? Why would you? Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You could meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh. Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. My soulmate controls my hairstyle for the day or my emotions. I might regret this, but I think I'm going to go with emotions because I really don't want him to mess up my hair. Good morning, mother. Sweetie, I accidentally shrunk your favorite dress in the wash. You can let the dog wear it now. But, but you love that dress. You're sure you're not mad? No worries. I'm off to school. Hey, so... I kind of have this, uh, this crush on you. Okay, your face is kind of scaring me a little. Good, because I don't even know why you're talking to me in the first place. You're right. I, I knew this was a bad idea. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go. We have to evacuate. There's a fire. Oh, you just need to relax. Everything's going to be fine. Mr. Smith, this one student refuses to run. Hey, why aren't you running? I can't really run right now. I'm much too calm for that. Are you insane? Listen, this building is going <laughs> to... It's gonna come down on us. Come on, I'm taking you out of here. Look, she's alive! Mr. Smith saved her! <sighs> what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, but my soulmate gave me the emotion of calmness. What? Girl, your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Hey, girly. So, what did Mr. Smith want to talk to you about yesterday? He just said that he couldn't help but feel like me almost dying in the school fire was his fault. And then he just took off. Well, that's kind of weird. You know what else is weird? I found out Mr. Smith is only 20 years old. Apparently he graduated early. That's cool. Yeah, and you've been stuck unhappy ever since you talked to him. Her hamster passed away this morning. And it hasn't even phased her. She deserves to mourn for her hamster. Now come to think of it, what if he was just hibernating and I buried him alive? I killed Chubsters. Oh, hey, don't cry. What just happened? Her soulmate must have heard us talking and changed her emotion. You know who I saw walking by when we were talking? Mr. Smith. No, you don't think that he's her... Soulmate? Yeah. You know what? Come with me. We're gonna go talk to him. Mr. Smith? Sylvia, I don't know if you should do this. Oh, hello, girls. Uh, what's up? I know you're her soulmate. I'm just Ken, and you were a else I'd be a Ken. Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um, a bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is going to happen to Mommy. I don't know. I don't I know. bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. No, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rawr. Okay, um, a lion? No. <laughs> a tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie. You only have ten seconds left. Rawr. A cheetah? A leopard? Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Hmm. <laughs> Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, it's a panther. A panther! Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh... The Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on. Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes! <sighs> that was a close one. Uh-oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grr. 
Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom. Susie, what is your word? My word is... Susie? She's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him. You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to act it out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some ID on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out, I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my god, what have I done? Dad. Shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. The game is offline. Good. I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, Mom. Um, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. Alright, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh. I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily! <sighs> I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But... but... Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption, and how old is Emily? She's five. I see, and it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh no, I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well... Yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine, I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to her test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? 
Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? That looked like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where's Emily? Hey. Ah, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me! Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Shh, guys, I heard something. <sighs> Emily! Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you loved me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's gonna come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm gonna take care of you from now on. I promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I. And you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... she's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny, Yay. and one for you, Olivia. Thank you, Mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is... No one. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. 
The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter... She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle. Wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. I brought you food? This? This is the kindest thing you've ever done for me. Oh, here! I found your real soulmate letter. Thank you. The annual soulmate ball is tomorrow. You should come. I would love to, but your mother will never let me go. I have a plan on how you can sneak out. Really? Yeah. I'll keep your letter safe until then. Mother will let you out in a few hours. Bye. Oh, but... Hello, Brielle. I hope you learned your lesson. Now come, Olivia wants to speak with you. Whoa, that dress looks great on you. Thank you, but can I have my soulmate letter back now? Yeah, of course, here. Hey, why does my soulmate letter status say stolen? You have your letter. It's gotta be a glitch. Yeah, I guess you're right, but will they let me in the ball with this status? No one can see your status except for you. Brielle, where are you? Hold on to that letter. You'll need to show it to your soulmate as proof that you're his match. Now let's go. Bye. Good luck at the ball. <laughs> I'm so sorry, miss. You're... Prince Anthony. Yes. Please, excuse me. I was trying to find my soulmate. Your Highness, wait. I... I believe that I'm your soulmate. You are? Yes. Would you like to see my letter? No need. Those letters are my father's idea. To be honest, I find them a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I sort of think that if someone is right for you, you'll just know. Yes, exactly. <gasps> oh Prince my gosh, Anthony. please dance with me. Maybe we should go somewhere a little more... <laughs> Private. So, what do you do for fun? Fun? Yes, during your free time. I don't really have much free time. My mother, she's very strict. My father is too. He never lets me leave the castle. You should be allowed to explore your kingdom. I tried to explain that to him, but he never listens. My mother never listens to me either. How could someone not listen to a sweet person like- There she is! There she is! That's the girl. Olivia? Don't act shocked. You know her? Oh, she knows me, your highness, and I would stay away from her. What are you doing? There are claims you have lied about your soulmate letter. That's not true. Uh-huh. He is my soulmate. I have the proof. Just look at my letter. The letter in this envelope is not from the prince. What? I have his letter right here. You switched them. What is going on here? She's pretending to be me. No, Olivia is lying. That letter belongs to me. Your Highness, don't listen to her. She's trying to trick you. She is the one trying to trick you, I swear. Enough. You're under arrest. Leave her alone. Where do you think you're going? Your... Your Majesty. Guards, arrest her at once. No, please wait. Stay still. Is it true you have been lying to my son? I would never. Thank goodness you caught her. How do you know this girl? She's my servant. You're not a servant, right? Truth is, I am a maid, but not by choice. What do you mean by that? That woman is not my mother by blood. She married my father, and then she poisoned him so she could take all his money. Lies? I would never. She did, and she forces me to clean, and so do her daughters. What? We do not. I don't know who to believe. I do. Brielle is telling the truth. Her eyes are innocent. The prince is mistaken. Please, father. I'm asking you to trust me on this. Just this once. Release the girl and arrest her family. I believe you, son. 
What? No. You said this would work, Mother. Good morning, my love. Breakfast is ready. They made breakfast? For me? Remember, I told you as my wife, you'll never have to cook or clean again. I simply won't allow it. Well, I guess I can't complain about that. It's just I... I'm not sure I'm fit to be a princess. You're so beautiful that when we first met, I thought you were one. Really? Yes. But more importantly, you have a pure heart which makes you more than deserving to wear that crown. Please let it be a new car. I really need a new car. A necklace? You know what? Maybe it'll be a diamond necklace. I mean, it's not a diamond necklace, but it's kind of cute, I guess. Guess my gift. I got a brand new car. Really? That's great. I know. So what'd you get? I got, um, spiders. What? Where? Where did you put them? <gasps> Whoa, chill. There's no spiders. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm super afraid of them. Does this thing tell me what people are afraid of or something? So for dinner, I was thinking we could go to... What? You're cheating on me? Uh, I, uh... We're done. Babe, but I... Uh, mm-mm. We're done. Hey, is mom back home yet? No. What's wrong? Well, I've had a horrible day and I just wanted to talk to... You good? You're pregnant? How do you... How did you find out? You found my pregnancy test, didn't you? Were you snooping in my room? No, I, I swear I wasn't. Really? Well, then how do you know? I have my ways, but don't turn this around on me. You're the one who did the dirty. Shut up! I never meant for this to happen. Didn't you say your boyfriend moved out of state? Yeah, because of this. Really? Yes, he took off as soon as he found out the news. I told you, he wasn't a good guy. I know. What am I gonna do? Look, I think that your first step is for you to tell mom the truth. Mom's plane just landed. She's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Ugh, I'm so nervous. Hey, we're gonna tell her together, okay? Hey, girls! Did you miss me? We did, but listen, um, Jenna has something she needs to tell you. Okay, what, Jenna? Well, Mom, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I... She's not feeling well, like, at all, so, um, I'm gonna go take her into my room and, uh, go take care of her. What are you doing? Ow! You think mom kidnapped us because the magic necklace told you so? Yes. Well, it didn't say kidnapped exactly. It just said that we weren't her kids. Come on. What if we're adopted? Why wouldn't she tell us that then? We're basically both adults now. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go talk to her. No, Jenna, wait. Mom, don't listen to anything Jenna tells you. She is super delusional right now. Relax. Jenna already told me everything. And the truth is, girls, you both were abandoned on my doorstep. What? what? Yes. Jenna, you were just one years old, and honey, you were just a baby. I didn't have the heart to tell you guys. I'm sorry. Guess that explains why you don't have any pregnancy photos with us. Or pictures with Dad. Jenna, we're gonna help you raise this baby together. And from now on, no more secrets. Give the pizza guy a tip. <gasps> you good? Kaylee, what's wrong? I'll tell you later. Let's just say he's not getting any of this. Come on! <laughs> Please, hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... It's been like an hour. Where is your mom? It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby, and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no. I... I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah. You know what? I think I am. It's not going to be easy. I know, Mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom! I'm winning! Oh, honey! How fun! Hang on. I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. I... Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes. Actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. I let you hold my baby, and I want her back. Please, hold my baby. Ma'am, I... I'm sorry, do you even hear yourself? It's been seven years. I waited hours for you to come back, and when you didn't, I decided to raise that baby by myself. As far as I'm concerned, she's my kid now. No, that is what you call kidnapping. That is not. It absolutely is. I am calling the police. What's wrong, Mom? Honey, are you happy here with me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm not actually your real mom. What are you talking about? 
So that's how I became your mom. But now your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh no. Please don't let them take me. Now your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh no. Please don't let them take me. Honey? Shh. She's sleeping. Sorry. But what did the officer tell you? That I'm supposed to give her back to her biological mom tomorrow. What? That can't be right. I promised her that she could stay with me. Oh, don't you worry. We'll figure this out. Police. I'll get it. Miss Stevens? Yes? I'm here because we have reason to believe someone came to your house pretending to be an officer today. Him and his wife have been taken into custody. Wait, so this means that I can keep her? Your daughter? Yes, absolutely. We actually believe they were trying to kidnap her. Honey, wake up. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, come here. Your Majesty, look, it's a girl. <sighs> Whoa. She only knows one word. Young lady, do you need help? No. Frederick, if she only knows one word, she obviously can't understand you. Of course she needs help. This island is abandoned. Now, now, dear, it's all right. We just want to help you. Now, why don't you give me your hand? <sighs> oh, my. Relax, dear. Here, would you like some food? Ah, yes, you smell that chicken, don't you? Good idea, Your Majesty. Here, if you want some chicken, you must come with us. I shall bring her to my wife. Since she can't have children, she could adopt this one. Come on, follow us. Ah. Uh... You'll get food in just a minute, my dear. Frederick, quickly. I've got her. Let's go. Oh, you poor thing. You must be scared out of your mind. Don't worry. I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Oh, look. She learned how to say a second word. Yes, I'm going to be your mom. And since I'm queen, you're going to be a princess. Mom. <laughs> yes, dear. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. You can't be a princess mm -hmm. looking like that. How cute. She probably hasn't had a bath in forever. My dear, are you sure her parents weren't on that island? Well, it's a good thing she can't understand English, because there's something sad I have to tell you. What? On our way off the island, we found a ship that was completely shipwrecked, and the remains of what appeared to be her parents. Oh, how awful. How could she have survived on that island all by herself? I don't know, but maybe once she learns more words, she can tell us. She's all done, Your Majesty. Do you like her makeover? She looks wonderful. I'm going to call her Maria. Uh, don't eat that, please. She's going to have a lot to learn, Your Majesty. She needs to learn manners uh... and... Oh, the poor thing must be hungry again. Come with me. We shall feed you. Your Majesty, she's eating like an animal. She was raised on an island. Don't worry. In time, she will learn better. In time, she will learn better. Look, a bear. Bear like this in jungle with me, but he brown and he bring me food. Really, Maria? Why, that's incredible. You've learned lots of new words. Maybe now you can tell us what happened on that island. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to. You know you're safe here with me, Maria. I promise. May I see other princesses today? Why, yes, there's a ball today. Socialization is very important for your speech development. Hello, my name is Princess Maria. Oh, you're that adopted princess from, like, the jungle, right? Oh, I cannot understand a lot of words at once. Can you speak slower? Can you understand me now? <laughs> <laughs> jungle freak. <sighs> oh, what's wrong what with a her? weirdo. Okay, Maria, let's try this word. It means appealing or pretty in an endearing way. Cute. Well done, Maria. You have learned another new word. You'll be able to speak so much more to your princess friends. Mom, Dad, I do not want to see the princesses anymore. They were mean. What? what? So me only want... No, no, say I. I only want to see a prince. Oh my. I don't want to meet a dead prince like Romeo. I want a live one. <laughs> what? what? Like in the book you read me, Romeo and Juliet. They dead. Oh, darling, don't worry, you can see a prince. And you will be alive, Maria. As long as he's not rude to you, of course. <laughs> Dad, was that a joke? <laughs> oh, yes, Maria, your father was just kidding. But I know just the prince you can meet. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? 
Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice. Yeah, I respect that. I heard you survived on an island all by yourself. I gotta say, I think that's pretty amazing. And look at you. You've learned so many words. You are very nice, and your face is cute. Oh, thanks. I think yours is pretty cute, too. I must go now, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I couldn't help but notice you're talking to Prince Ken. Come here, girly. Let me see your hand. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I want to be your friend. Friend? Yes, friend. So come with me, because I have something I want to show you. See how Prince Ken is holding my hand in this picture? He doesn't look very happy. Um, of course he was happy. He loves holding my hand. Just give me that. Let me teach you some words. Not interested. I saw the way that you look at him, but he doesn't like you. He would never date a jungle freak. Maria? Shh. She just fell asleep. Did she tell you why she came home so sad? No, she wouldn't say. But dear, your god went back to the island and... We found out some awful news. What? Well, Frederick went back and did some investigating, and he believes her family was trying to start a circus. A circus on an island? Shh, yes. And Frederick believes that they had a bear with them on the boat, and her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained, and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Where is Prince Ken? Oh, I don't know. I told him you didn't want to be around him, you little jungle freak. Stay away from my man. Mm. Ow, ow! Maria, what are you doing? I'm so sorry. This is so unlike her. I know. She just attacked me out of nowhere, but it's okay, Your Majesty. I know she's different. Thank you for understanding, dear. No, Mom. She... she go like this. Your Majesty, you have a meeting to attend to, and Prince Ken is here. Prince Ken? No, Maria, you will not be seeing Prince Ken. You are grounded for attacking Princess Rachel. You ought to stay in your room until your father arrives home. I wish I knew how to speak more words. Maria, my dear, I'm back, and I've brought you a surprise. Bear! I went back to the island and found him. He's quite friendly. I know you've been struggling, and I thought seeing him might make you feel less alone. We can keep the bear here in the palace if you'd like. Good night, bear. Hey, psst, Maria, it's me. The guards let me up. I just had to come see you. Princess Rachel tried to tell me you didn't want to talk to me, but I didn't believe her. She's always trying to create some drama. Whoa, is that a bear? Oh, yes, that is Bear, my friend. Your, your friend? Yeah, he- Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Whatever cookie you choose to eat will give you a special power. It's a tough choice, but I think I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. Your magic bunny will now appear. It's a cute little bunny, and it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna find out. And what better place to discover this thing's power than at this Easter party that my mom is forcing me to go to? Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks, I, um, I got it as a gift. Oh, okay, cool. He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you just excuse me for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I didn't expect this thing to talk to me. Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So, did you find out what the bunny's power does? No, no, I didn't. I need to go now. Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. My mom is in love with the gardener, and my best friend is in love with me. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love with your teacher. I found your first grade teacher here. Summer, is that you? Have a rich mom or a rich dad? Well, my dad left when I was eight, so I think we gotta go with Rich Dad. Especially because we need the money. That must be him. Hello. Dad? Huh? No offense, but I expected you to be dressed a little nicer than that. Gee, maybe it's because I'm the postman, not your dad. Sorry. I wonder what's in here. Holy... Mom. What? What is it, honey? I found you a new husband, and we're gonna be set for life. Did you sign me up for a dating show? No, Mom, I picked a rich dad, and just look in this envelope. There's $2,000 in here. I know. Isn't this great, Mom? I'm 
Gonna have a dad again. Oh, honey. This letter shows he's a billionaire. He's never gonna visit us. I bet you that's him. Dad, we're looking for the daughter of a billionaire. Um, look, I can't see or I can't say bad words until I meet my soulmate. Guess you're going blind. What? Why? Oh, honey, you have a potty mouth. I do not. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm gonna prove to you that I can live without cussing. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Surprise attack! Ow! Mother father that hurt! <laughs> mother father? Why'd you say that? Because I can't cuss, dipshiz. I'm telling mom you're trying to say bad Wait, words. Wait, if you don't tell her, I'll uh, give you my favorite teddy bear. Mm, I don't know. Well, I do like that teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Mom! Frick you! Whoops. <laughs> You little witch! <laughs> witch? Is that the best insult you can do? I can't cuss. Aw, can poor baby not cuss until she meets her soulmate? Oh, fudge off. Dude, she sounds like she's straight out of Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ow. Oh, damn it, I am so sorry. It's okay. Ugh. Wait a minute, I just said a bad word. Yeah, so? Well, I'm not allowed to say bad words until I meet my... Soulmate. Share my soulmate's hair color or share my soulmate's eye color? I mean, I just got my highlights done and I don't really want to change it, so I think I'm going to share his eye color. Here goes nothing. Oh, honey, have you looked in the mirror? No, I... <gasps> I thought they were going to give me his eye color, not just one of his eye colors. Hey, girl, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? No reason. Then why won't you look me in the eyes? Come on, girl, we're besties. We're supposed to tell each other everything. All right, you caught me. It's because I look like this, okay? Do you have any idea how I can get my eyes back to normal? I'm pretty sure you have to meet your soulmate. But that could take literally forever. I'm just gonna keep these on for now. Hey! I am so sorry. It's really hard to see with these on. But having said that, you actually have really pretty eyes. Thank you. You have really nice brown eyes, too. Well, thanks. But one is literally green right now. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Aw, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie, did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. But... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. Coffee rushes. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look... <laughs> There's my autograph! No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, 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 she just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But... 
I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Nate. Oh, no, he did it. Let's sit a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are going to pay more. We will pay you 500 Per day? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour. Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald. How are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> Is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mummy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay, well, I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. <laughs> Hello? I'm back. Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to... dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I'll take special meds just to be around the dog, please. She's the only friend I got. Look, I get it, but Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you... Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna... You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. <sighs> but I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> what did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait, have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're going to have to join them. Ugh, my head. She woke up. Shh, you're going to scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great. You know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy. Ronald, there you Don't are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. 
I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. <sighs> no, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of- Freeze, kid. What the- Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be a boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you? Honey, plug yourself in. I will. Okay, relax. Where even is my charger? Eh, I'll find it later. Mom, I'm at 1% and I can't find my charger anywhere. Haley, I told you! I don't feel so good. No, hang on! That was the third time this has happened this month. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me. Honey, I've been working on a new invention. I want to show it to you. A bracelet? It's a portable charger that allows you to never run out of battery. It's finally ready for use. Really? Yep, I made it just for you. But Haley, don't tell anyone what it does, okay? Nice bracelet. Thanks. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Powers. How did you do that? Huh, I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm gonna need you to come with me. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. What? How are you? How did you take my power? Ugh, I need that bracelet. Mom, we have a problem. What, honey? Well, there was like this crazy guy at school, and he had electric powers or something, and he was sucking the battery life from me. What? He did? Yeah, but don't worry. Your bracelet protected me. That must have been a power sucker. A what? There are people who recharge themselves by taking other people's battery life. Do you know where he went? No, I ran away, and then he... What was that? I think he might have followed you. Go, hide. No, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You can't hide from me. Leave us alone. Hand over the bracelet. Not a chance. Okay, then. Guess I'll drain her battery. Mom! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna drain all her battery life. No, okay, you can have it. Don't. If he gets that, he'll be unstoppable. She's at 2%. It's her or the bracelet. I choose her. Take it. Finally. Now let her go. All right, a deal's a deal. <sighs> Mom? Mom, give me your hand. Not so fast. I'm not done with you, kid. I decided I want more power. What? Leave her alone. I'm taking her battery life. This is for being a little brat. Stop! Mom, go plug yourself in. Otherwise, your battery's gonna die, too. Say goodbye to your daughter. No! Uh, uh. Haley, grab the bracelet. No! Why, you little... Uh, give me that back! No! My power! Oh, you did it. Mom, you're at 1%. Here, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here. Last, starting today, everyone will be able to play the game I Spy to earn money. So, who wants to play with me? I do. No, me. Why don't we give the quiet girl a shot? I spy with my little eye something green. Aw, oh, come on, that's so easy. She better get this right. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> settle down, settle down. It was the green apple. Sweetheart, you need to talk to your mom. It's really time that she gets you some glasses, okay? Hey, Mom, the teacher told me today to ask you if I can get some glasses. I told you we can't afford them. If I had glasses, I could earn us money from this game. You can earn us money from the game without the glasses. You can see just fine. I got you a little something. You bought me glasses? They're just temporary, until your mom can get you your exact prescription. This is so much better. I can actually see now. I hope it helps you play the game, too. I spy with my little eye something yellow. That yellow daisy right there. You got it. Yes. I spy with my little eye something brown and white and covered in water. 
That doll. Dang, she's fast. You've been getting so much money ever since you got your glasses. I know. Amelia, where did you get glasses? My, um, my teacher got them for me. Really? Let me see them. Wasn't it so nice of her? Yes. I still can't believe that you broke my glasses. I told you they weren't your prescription. They would have ruined your eyes if you kept wearing them. They were supposed to be temporary until you bought me my own glasses. Don't you understand, Mom? I can't play I Spy if I can't see. Amelia, don't you get smart with me. And today, you'll tell everyone that you lost your glasses, and not that I broke them. Got it? Hey, shy girl, you ready? I spy with my little eye something blue. Hey, she doesn't have her glasses today. I made it so easy for her. It's right in front of her face. What is it? I don't know, okay? I can't see it. It's all blurry. Way to go, doofus. You made her lose money. Hey, it's not my fault she's blind. Amelia, can you please see me after class? Hey, so where's your glasses? I lost them. But Amelia, I just gave them to you. Okay, the truth is, my mom broke them, and now I lost all my money because they kept asking me to play the game, and I couldn't see anything. <sighs> I had a feeling something like this might have happened. Not to worry, I know how to get you seeing again. You do? Yes, I think I know a way where we can get you some contacts. You would do that for me? Of course. I, I really care for you, Amelia. But about your mother, there's something you need to know. I reported your mother to the police. She's gonna get so mad. Amelia, I'm so sorry, but she's clearly been neglecting you. Everything's gonna be fine, though. Just stay with me, I'll take care of you, and we'll go get you some contacts. Okay, the eye doctor is right down here. I'm sorry, I, I have to go back to my mom. No, please, there's more I need to explain. You have the right to remain silent. Mom! Well, if it isn't the little traitor. I swear, I, I didn't have anything to do with this. Ma'am, our records are showing that your daughter is adopted. What? Well, she didn't know that until now, officer, but yes, she is. I see. Sweetheart, please come with me. After further investigating your living conditions, we have concluded that your mother was neglecting you. I want to know who my real mother is. Are your new contacts working? Good. Then you can now play the game I Spy, right? Yeah, but I don't see how that's going to explain anything. Please, let's just play. Fine. I spy with my little eye, someone with blonde hair and blue eyes. It's... It's Mrs. Smith. Hi, honey. I... I don't understand. What... What are you doing here? I'm here because now you're going to need a new parent. And remember how we took a blood test of you earlier? The results said... No, honey, yes. I was only 16 when I had you. When I became your teacher, I just knew that you were my daughter. I should have never given you up. Will you please accept me back? Why don't we play the game? I spy, with my little eye, someone who... Who loves you very much and has always wanted a mom like you. Is it you? <laughs> Learn a fact about every item you touch or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. 
Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying, um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature, open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go, but... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is gonna be. Don't be. You're Santa Toothberry's son because he's super cute. <gasps> who is? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency. I'll be right back, Holly. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No. Have, have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Only it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I them, but I can't let Christmas get canceled. What am I going to do? Please. Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. This is kid life versus adult life. Kid. Oh, I guess I must have fallen asleep watching SpongeBob. Oh, well. Mom, what's for breakfast? Adult. <laughs> oh. Oh, my back. I fell asleep watching Criminal Minds again. Oh, and I slept in my makeup. I'm gonna break out tomorrow. Mm. And I forgot to buy groceries. Kid. What time is it? Oh, it's already midnight. No wonder I'm so sleepy.
Adult. <sighs> Bro, what time is it? Dang, it's only midnight? Okay, next episode. Kid. Mommy, don't get mad. I have to tell you something. Lily peed on the carpet in my room. What? You might want to go clean that up now. Adult. Why would you pee on the carpet? Do you know how much my landlord is going to charge me for that? But you're still so stinking cute. I can't be mad at you. No, I can't. I know I can't. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid because family members, they are worth a lot more than money, right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no, I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm going to go wash my face. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I gonna do? Shh, listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because. Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not going to leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go. <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a Hyder? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay.
No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. Excuse me? I saw this flower and I thought of your face. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Why did I just get money? Cuz, sweetheart, every time someone has a crush on you, you get money. We're gonna be which? Wanna go prom dress shopping? I can't. I'm broke. You have no new crushes? No. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? You're so pretty, but you don't talk to anyone. That is not true. I talk to Tommy. Tommy is a little creep who likes to stalk you. He doesn't count. You need to talk to other boys. Look, it's not my fault that I have social anxiety. Girl, just let me teach you how to flirt. I can flirt, okay? Here comes a guy. Hi, um, I like your face. Huh? You know that I have a girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> and you lost more money, didn't you? Yeah. You're coming with me. Fine. This is perfect for prom. I'm telling you I'll buy it for you. And I'm telling you I can't. It's way too short. My parents would kill me. What's going on? What's up with your crushes? I don't know. It just... Hey. What the freak, Tommy? What are you doing in the girls' dressing room? Listen, I posted something that's going to make you rich. Tommy, what did you post? It's nothing bad. It's just... You tell me what you posted, right? Oh my gosh. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You recorded me without me knowing? Look, I was just trying to get you some more money. Do you know what's gonna happen when my parents see this video? Are they gonna get mad you're wearing that dress? Come on, you're 18. And that video's viral, so you're gonna be rich. Tommy? Yeah? Delete it. Uh, I kinda got logged out of my TikTok account. You what? <laughs> Her video is getting so many views. You little creep, Tommy. Ow. That's for following us. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And that's for recording me without permission. I was just trying to help. Casey, where are my other clothes? I don't know. They were right here. Hey, looking for these? Hey! See ya. <laughs> How much money you got now? Two thousand. Wow, I guess your video's really going viral. Girl, calm down. Well, you know, I don't like attention like this. Can you please just buy me this dress and I just want to go home? I actually have to go. What? You'll be fine. You're rich now. Casey, please, you can't just leave me like this. Sorry. Casey. Bye. You're going to wear the dress out? It's going to be $122. Where are you going? To the bus. And I would appreciate it if you would stop following me. You're cute. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Casey left me with no way home, and this creepy guy was following me, so I couldn't get the bus home, and- I deleted the video. You did? Yeah, it's doing more harm than good. Uh, your friend just posted something. What's happening? Uh, your friend Casey just posted something. This rich girl literally gets mad at me for not buying her a dress. Just buy me this dress? I don't have enough money. Casey! She edited this. I just can't believe that she would do this to me. She definitely got jealous of you getting all these crushes. But you know what? Come on. I'll go with you to go confront her. Look, it's the whiny rich girl. Boo! Get out of here! Hey! The video was faked, and we're gonna prove it. Come on. Casey. What is wrong with you? I thought that we were friends. Oh, the video? I was just showing people the real you, that's all. It's not real if you edited it. Yeah! Did you not ask me to buy your dress? You offered to pay for me for that dress. That was before you had $2,000, and then you still asked me to buy it. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't thinking clearly, because I was in the middle of having a panic attack. Well, boo-hoo for you. Just admit you edited the video. Okay, I edited the video. Does that make you feel happy? No one's gonna find out anyways. We wouldn't be so sure about that. Say hello to my live stream with over a million viewers. You've been streaming this? Yep, and you heard the truth here, guys, so pass it on. Whoa. My crushes are disappearing. <laughs> FYI, a lot of people on the live stream were shipping us together. <laughs> well, you kind of stuck up for me when my best friend didn't, so... Are you giving me a chance? If you promise no more stalking. Deal! Oh my gosh, I've been dreaming of this my whole life. I mean, uh, I'm cool. I'm cool. Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature! Wait, Willy? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now! Don't give me that attitude. You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> it hasn't hatched? No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs>
<laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. That's him. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you going to do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. Oh. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it... It healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Mm. Shh, shh, I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello? Oh, please, wake up. What happened? I saved your life. Mom? What did you do to her? You too. You used your laser vision on her? Yes. I protect you. Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm going to class. Wait. Let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on. It's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even gonna notice. I said no! You know what will happen if people see that mark, they'll start to ask questions, and I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's going to notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of 
Origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> no, Mom, I can protect myself because I just- Enough! Now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I, I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm going to have to do the look. Huh, that uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom, and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me. I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your date. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. What's up, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Just let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You picked Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. 
I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, Mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Jeanette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think... Watch her. I... I can't do this. I'm not going to let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we going to do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to wake up. Uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry, I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> no! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Ugh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me, unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. Please, hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... It's been like an hour. Where is your mom? It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby, and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no. I, I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah. You know what? I think I am. It's not going to be easy. I know, Mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom! I'm winning! Oh, honey! How fun! Hang on. I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. I... Hi. Can I help you? Hi. Yes. Actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. 
I let you hold my baby and I want her back. Please, hold my baby. Ma'am, I... I'm sorry, do you even hear yourself? It's been seven years. I waited hours for you to come back. And when you didn't, I decided to raise that baby by myself. As far as I'm concerned, she's my kid now. No, that is what you call kidnapping. That is not. It absolutely is. I am calling the police. What's wrong, Mom? Honey, are you happy here with me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm not actually your real mom. What are you talking about? So, that's how I became your mom. But now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Honey? Shh. She's sleeping. Sorry. But what did the officer tell you? That I'm supposed to give her back to her biological mom tomorrow. What? That can't be right. I promised her that she could stay with me. Oh, don't you worry. We'll figure this out. Police. I'll get it. Miss Stevens? Yes? I'm here because we have reason to believe someone came to your house pretending to be an officer today. Him and his wife have been taken into custody. Wait, so this means that I can keep her? Your daughter? Yes, absolutely. We actually believe they were trying to kidnap her. Honey, wake up. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, come here.